Hi, welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Tory Review, where today we will be looking at the Dreadnought, uh, Dreadnought Biker Gang Ripper from the comic 2-pack. But before we get to, uh, Ripper, and before we get to our shout-outs, I'd like to wish everybody here, that's a couple, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And to all the single folks that are watching, you know, Happy Single Awareness Day. But, so, before we get to Ripper, let's get to our shout-outs of the week. First to, uh, I'm going to switch it up this week. First to Time Travelers Toys and Collectibles at 115 South Loudoun Street in Winchester, Virginia on the Walking Mall. You can find them on Facebook. Their address is, well, I always say their address, 115 South Loudoun Street. And, uh, you go in there and buy... Or sell comics, toys, and collectibles. You go and see Charles Town my Center. You can find a whole bunch of stuff like comic books, uh, He Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers. You name it, he's got it. Uh, while you're in the area, step on down the other side of the splash pad to back to the media at 41 South Loudon Street in Winchester, Virginia, which is also on the Walking Mall. And you can get all your video games, Funko Pops, toys. You know, music, movies, and more. And you can find them on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So go ahead and check them out. And uh, let's get, go ahead and start working on looking, taking a look at the ugliest of all dreadnoughts. And basically the dreadnought uh, arsehole. You know, I figure I say arsehole because Europeans swearing ain't cussing. Ain't that right? Uh, ACC788. But, uh. Let's take a look at his file card. And he reads, uh, Dreadnought, Dreadnought, codename Dreadnought Ripper. File name, Nod Harry. Which, ironic, if you look at all the Dreadnought's file cards, Buzzer, Ripper, and Torches, their first names are Tom, Dick, and Harry. And their last names are Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod, which is a famous poem from a couple centuries ago. I forget who it was that, uh, wrote it. You know, his birthplace is Grim Cape Trans Tasmania. And the file reads, There are devils in Tasmania, and Dreadnought Ripper is probably the meanest of them all. And uh, going to the devils in Tasmania, everybody knows about the Tasmanian devil. I'm sorry for the sniffing, I'm still getting sinus issues. And, uh, he is, he is, ex he was expelled from nursery school for extorting candy from, from his schoolmates and spent most of his adult life in various correctional institutions. He is a professional criminal motivated by greed and a malignant dislike for the niceties of civilization. Except for motorcycles. A special, uh, specialty in MO is weapons and cutting tools. And the MO is stores for modus operandi, which is Latin for motive of operations. And uh, is known throughout the swaps for using his blade like a cross between a firefighter's axe and a can and a can opener to unlock gates and crack safes. And right there, there's a uh, picture of um of the artwork of Dreadnought Ripper and the enemy at the bottom. So let's take a look at his uh, accessories, starting off with his with his uh, figure stand. As you see on the front, code name Dreadnought Ripper. And on top, there's a Cobra, the Cobra emblem. And I've said this in many of Dreadnought videos. That instead of the Cobra, Cobra emblem, I would, I thought it would, I think it would be better if they would have had a, uh, had the Dreadnought logo right there. That would have been, like, wicked cool. So let's take a look at his, uh, accessories. Starting from saving the best for last. But he comes with this two-piece generator backpack. Here's the... <clears throat> Rack or the case for it. 
And then you got the generate backpack right here. It's very good sculpting. So, I mean, this would make sense due to the weapon that it comes that it's attached to. But the weapon itself makes no absolute no sense to me. And, of course, comes with the standard G.I. Joe tube to connect. As well as it connects to the Jaws of Life. Which, unlike the vintage counterpart, it can open. <coughs> mm. Sorry about that. And then the best weapon he has is this silver gun with the, it looks like a cutting axe bayonet on it. Which is technically not a bayonet, it's just a large cutting axe attached to an assault rifle. Which is what he, the weapon he uses in the cartoon and the comic. So let's take a look at our at our boy uh, Ripper, which starting with his head, he's got a mohawk on top and shaved or short sh shorter hair on his sides with a with a beard, and he's got red sunglasses like he's in some kind of nineteen eighties music video. He's got a green. Sh a green uh, cut-off shirt, sleeveless on the side, or one side. A little strap with a knife on the sleeve that's not removable. Ugh. And grenades. I'm sorry, y'all, but my nose is completely sh uh, stuffed up. He's got a black belt with a, with a silver chain attached to the side. And a knife on the back. Sculpted a knife on the back of the belt. He's also wearing blue jeans, pouches on the front, pockets in the back. And he's got his black boots. And on the front of the boots, he's got these nicely sculpted, painted silver uh, skulls on the boots. So let's take a look at his articulation. Standard articulation for modern era figures. His head does rotate all the way around. Mine's figure simple, it's kind of stiff, but, you know, it's all cool. And that's about the range of his motion you can get with his head. His arm can stretch to a bit, because bend about there. It can rotate the full 360. He can bend at the elbow. Rotate 360 degrees. He can... River the wrist with 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 the whole glove, three sixty. Cause you got the black glove on the one arm, just a black band on the other, and a nice tattoo on that arm, and elbow pad on just the one elbow. Uh, he does have the ab crunch feature. It's not really all that noticeable due to the web gear, but it's there, and he's got the uh. Standard T-hook legs, which can stretch out about like that. He can lift his leg that high. Bend at the knee as a double knee joint. Bend at the ankle. And he can also rotate at the ankle. And that's the articulation for Ripper. So let me get him stand, set up in battle gear. So here's Ripper in set up in full battle gear. Uh, Ripper makes his first comic book appearance in issue number 25, along with Buzzer and Torch. But also in that issue, Torch isn't named yet until issue 30, but we'll get a Torch in two weeks. But uh, Ripper is basically the... Just the rude arsehole of the Dreadnoughts. Where, of the original three, where Buzzer is the intelligent one, but bent on destructions. And Torch is the complete moron. And you got Ripper, the arsehole. The rude, nasty one. And as you can see, he, well, he also made his first cartoon appearance in the five-part miniseries... Of G.I. Joe, the Ven Revenge of Cobra, in part one. But as you said, you, you know, my thoughts on this figure. 
her ugly scarf to, especially with the head. I don't see the point of actually adding hair to him if he's got a mohawk and adding the hair on the sides. To me, that's actually kind of retarded, but that's just me. And the uh, whole Jars of Life gimmick is... The intended person, purpose of a Jars of Life is to save a person's life. So why would you give a life-saving tool to a dreadlock? You know, especially when they're just out to destroy stuff. But that's the Dreadnoughts. But, uh, but I would rank this figure as a top-tier figure because he is one of the original three Dreadnoughts. You know, and you can't take that away from him. That's his main redeeming quality. But, uh, that's Dreadnought Ripper for you. But, uh, for vintage videos of Dreadnought Ripper, go to ACC788. As well as Form BX257. Uh, Joe Fan82, our late great Joe Fan82, he's does the what the uh, the original comment 25 pack or 25th anniversary edition, the one with the yellow shirt, like I have. So check the archives for my channel, watch the other Jared and I Ripper video. Uh, and there's a few others just done. This version of Ripper. Uh, so go ahead and check him out. The other accessory that he comes with. Is. The uh, a reprint of. A glossy reprint of. G.I. Joe. Comic book issue number 30. So go ahead and check that out. And tune in next week. As we review G.I. Joe's. Uh, Airborne Assault Trooper. Crazy Legs. So go ahead and check out. Crazy Legs next week. I hope you enjoyed this video. All y'all couples, happy Valentine's Day. All y'all singles, happy Single Awareness Day. See y'all in the next one. This has been Dreadnought Ripper, the ugly Dreadnought. So tune in next week for Crazy Lakes and have a good and blessed week and happy Valentine's Day and happy Single Awareness Day.